<laughs> Bonjour guys, uh, welcome to yet another episode of Conversations and uh, the French are known for three things. One, their perfumes. Uh, second, they are known for mapenzi, wanapendana sana, romance. And third, they are known for their cars. And that is why on this episode we are bringing you something out of the usual, something that is yet to grace our Kenyan roads vizuri. And ladies and gentlemen, today we present to you the Peugeot 508 uh, 2015, but here in the first lift. And as usual, Conversations is that channel that is going to guarantee you an alluring motor vehicle experience. I'll be your host, uh, your conversologist, serving you, you know, your dose of Canvasitamo. Follow me on uh, my socials, Eric Wakabi, Eric with a CK, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pia, Water Conversations on Facebook, Twitter, and IG. And now, let's get up close and candid with the 508. Oh, I can tell you a thing or two about this car. First of all, Kumbukeni subscriptions, maze. We are on the home stretch to 100k. So, to ongeza hizo subs, then uh, this car has been uh, given to us by our good friends, uh, Akicha Motors. Please check them out on Facebook and Instagram. We'll uh, put a link to their pages on uh, the description to this video. So, wacheki alafu. Uh, check out what they have pia kama we ni msewa direct import check out akicha motors watakusot so if you have say you know about 2 million kenya shillings in your pocket or bank account there are a few options that you would be looking at number one unaweza ku unaangalia gari kama toyota crown ama makex secondly you if you're a bit more refined you would be looking at a uh, mercedes benz uh, c180 c200 around there also, you can be looking at kama wei nimse European sana, VW Passat, or kama wei nimse up ama mkale, you'll be looking at a Toyota Premio. <laughs> Sawa, na uwe kevitamba andani. But, uh, you can also consider this car. Yeah, the, in its class, in ile gari kona value for money. And I'll tell you why as we go on, as I, we try to, you know, get up close and candid with this car. Tuwanze na venye hii gari in a car. Peugeot's design language. You know, the earlier Peugeot's were not very good looking, but they, we, we used to love them. They are, Peugeot's are every, you know, when you were growing up, our dads used to have, you know, you look at a sponsor, by the way. Hakina 404, 504, and you know, uh, the government also. And history repeats itself. These days we are seeing 508s uh, mostly being used uh, by the government and also our good friends at NTSA. However, uh, now you can be able to import one of these and uh, when it comes to looks, Igari, it steals the show. It's the, vehicle, it's the car that you will go to pick your girlfriend from her house and utaitua maisa nata before useme what your interests are. Yes, this is a car that will not put you in the friend zone. I must say it does look like a bigger Peugeot 208 from the front but the looks, one thing we have to give it up for are the looks. Yes, and uh, Kawaida, the French are also, you know, a bit stylish and you can tell from the chrome that we have on the grill plus also one thing, Mata. Remember that thing I told you about the Touareg, that uki kutana na Touareg usiku wada iki on full beams, okay, it's bright but aita kuchoma, it has that anti-glare effect. No, you, you also get that on the Peugeot 508. Also, umafansu wa daylight running lights, wase waudi wene wa shinanga wa mezi washa kila saa. The Peugeot comes with the uh, DRLs, then you have a fog light in a snikiwa, ndani hapa. So it's, it's, it's something that is not really uh, what you would uh, call cliche on an average Kenyan road. And on the side profile, because this is where things start to get a bit interesting, what you have to appreciate about this car is the aerodynamics. Manze, curves, curves, manze. I told you guys I love curves, not only on cars, but but let's stick to cars on this one the tires you get uh, size 17s and uh, the good thing about 508 you don't get steel rims they come standard with alloys so you also get to have sleeved rotors which is a good thing yeah so uh, did i mention that you can also <laughs> put a mazda a tenza head to head with this car i know it will make it look bad but anyway uh, that's why we are here to compare some of these cars also 
The other thing you have to learn about, uh, you know, Pujo's design language. Most of the time you will be, you, we are used to side mirrors that are past the door frame. But now for this one, well, it's a bit ndani. Iko kwa melango, by the way. But uh, the front door is also a bit long, giving you enough space to sit in comfortably. Ada kuingia bila stress. The wheelbase, again, is... Uh, Okay, it's the adequate wheelbase that you'd be looking at when you're looking at a mid-sized uh, luxury sedan. And uh, to be honest, Ukiangali Gari from the side, it, it does look, it, it gives you that look of style, refinement, Napia, style and status. So it's a car that will, it will make, you will be noticed. You don't have to scream like a guy driving a WRX STI to show your presence. It's very silent, but bado. It have cool. Okay, whenever you just pack it somewhere, it will take the attention. On the rear, we start tackling the interesting stuff. So, if you look at the curb from the C pillar all the way down, Igari, by the the aerodynamics, Zico just okay, it's 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 really amazing by the and being up close with this car, you that's when you really get to appreciate the kind of aerodynamics that you're getting. The entire shape, Kutoka Pale Hadi Numa. Opening the boot, you can choose it. You can choose to open it from Mbele, or as you've noticed, there is no handle, there is no lock. Ya kufungua boot hapa. So what do you do? You either open it from the front. Ama, very clever. Five zero eight. Press the zero and voila. You have the open sesame effect. Walo ase waliso Alibaba in the forty thieves. Eh? And as usual. We need to test, whenever you're having a semi-luxury or, or a mid-sized uh, luxury sedan, practicality may not be very important, but once in a while you would want to put in some luggage in the boot. So how big is the Peugeot 508's boot? And Kawaida, our SI unit for boot space at Conversations, Ninani, your guy Mbugua, rich boy. So why do we, I'm uh, on Instagram, so why do we have a SI unit in boot space? Uh, um, we, uh, okay. <laughs> so the, the SI unit will, not, will, will always be uh, Mbugua because number one, weight, size. Uh, Mbugua is your typical gunia ya waru ime shon waju. So Mbugua, let's go in. Okay, uh, let's see if if Ambugua can fit in the boot. Oopsie. Okay, sawa. If Ambugua can fit in the boot, then so we have one Mbugua. Most interestingly, we have room for yet another Mbugua. It's only that I don't want to go in there. So uh, when it comes to practicality in this car, the luggage space is very sufficient, and this is something that you also need to consider. Com comparing it to the Atenza and comparing it also to the BMW 3 Series or the Passat, it has very, very, very decent boot space. Although from outside you might not think that the boot space is that sufficient. Sawa, to Maliza, Ayashuka. Nam kumbuka kucheza tiny pesa? Bana, just to put niki. <laughs> niki. Come, back to, come back to the list. Tell them. Mimi nimechoka kuitishia kuambiwa cheza. Sawa, then under the boot, one thing uh, we have, okay, that you would have obviously noted is uh, most cars post 2013, they, they don't come with a full-size uh, spare tire. They only come with a tire repair kit and a compressor. But for the 508, you get yourself a full spare tire. At a seat donut, yeah, only the, the only difference between these with the, the and the rims it has right now is only that this one has still uh, it has a steel rim. But anyway, who cares? It's it's a spare tire. Sour. So uh, from here we talk about the part I like most. Let's go check out what powers up this car. And what engine options again do we have from this car? Also, we'll get to discuss about the gearbox and a few more things that you need to know about the 508 Peugeot. Powering up this big sedan is a rather small engine. If you look at this car from the outside, you would probably think that what is under the hood is a straight six turbocharged engine, but uh, maybe three liter or 2.5 liter. But no, what we have under the hood of the Peugeot, you remember we talked about most manufacturers downsizing their engines uh, but also trying to maintain the power figures yeah 
Under the hood is a 1600cc turbocharged engine. Yeah, it's, it's a small engine powering up a big car. And uh, the power ratings on this car, <laughs> they are quite high. But I'll tell you one thing about uh, these small engines. Eh? Uh, well, when it, whenever you have a small engine producing so much power, most of the time, if you abuse the car, that's at, at, at the you know, expense of reliability and also lifespan of the engine. Yeah. So you, you must really learn how to stay with this car, how to live with this car, especially because it's a car that has been used maju. So, so, so the, the, driving, the, the, the driving, how you drive this car really determines how long it's going to live. You see like the Mark 7s, VW Mark 7s, Golfs, eh? they are coming in with a very small engine, 1200cc turbocharged. Come to Nissan Note. So, so. But uh, for this one, 1600cc, the same engine on the Peugeot 208 GTI, review. the link is in the description below. So you, you get the same engine. Fuel consumption, ah, very impressive figures, but there is a setback. If you drive this car uh, Visuri, eh, it will give you somewhere between 13, 16, 13 to 16 kilometers per liter. But if you are heavy footed, uh, up or generally or Peugeot, if you are heavy footed, the fuel consumption tends to go a bit higher. Meter to this engine is a six speed automatic transmission. And one thing that uh, I have to really give it up for Peugeot and Mazda is that they are not killing us with the CVT, which makes cars pretty much boring to drive. Yeah, so you get to interact with the vehicle, you get to feel the gears shifting, you get to have like, you know, some control on the vehicle, you get to enjoy the feel, courtesy of the six-speed automatic transmission on this car. So, without, uh, Pia, what, what, what are the engine options that you get? It's not only the 1600cc. If you're importing this car from the UK, you're likely to get a uh, 1.6 liter diesel you also with a manual transmission you're also likely to get a 2 liter petrol uh, Pia Kamona import kutoka Singapore you're likely to get a 2 liter petrol uh, you're also likely to get a 1.8 liter petrol or petrol or a 2.2 diesel so but my personal preference for a sedan would be a petrol uh, as usual Kenyan diesel problems are brought about by two things. Number one is not even our fuel. Number one is the kind of engine oil that we use on our vehicles. Number two is the most obvious, our diesel, right? And talking about maintenance, servicing this Peugeot, uh, always remember you use fully synthetic engine oil. Sawa sawa. And uh, for the transmission oil, uh, I seen uh, basically, I've seen oil or Uva Supertech, they are good for automatic transmissions, especially from European cars. So, let's check out the interior. Let's see how this car looks inside, because that's where the fun is. Inside the Peugeot 508 is when you start feeling the difference for spending that 2 million Kenya shillings. As a driver, the first thing that you have to appreciate is the instrument cluster. It is very clear then, it's all analog. And I always tell you, personally, I have an affiliation. I really love analog because I even wear analog watches, which, it's, it's a very, analog brings out that sense of luxury kumbali without necessarily bring out, you know, a lot of modernity. The other thing is, uh, up on the steering wheel, upper Simbawa Yuda Yuko, then uh, steering controls that are coming standard with, you know, most cars these days, especially the sedans the above two million you if you don't get these as standard i don't know what you're looking for in a car then you have actual paddle shifts yes because paddle shifts in a cvt are as useless as ea in t uh, that i keep on telling you that so these are paddle shifts that you will enjoy using when you're driving because the engine is mated to an automatic transmission so you, trust me when you use uh, the paddle shifts in this car, you're definitely going to have fun. And not only the paddle shifts, by the way, because there is also an actual sport mode on this car. Yes, the S over here. Who can a sport mode up on as a Jibamba now? It holds up the revs very well because, again, a sport mode on a CVT transmission is as useless as. Let me not mention names. <laughs> yeah, then you also have to have. You have snow mode on this car. Yeah, okay. So you will actually never get to use snow mode in Kenya yeah, unless you live in Kinangopo or Limuru. The other interesting thing about this car is the infotainment system. Well, it's not as good as that in a Mercedes-Benz C200 or in a BMW uh, 5 Series, but 
you see you have this drive so you can either put the parking sensors on on and off talking about parking sensors you get parking sensors all around and you also get blind, blind spot monitoring and apart from that you also get lane departure assist uh usipote kwa barabara these cameras over here do work also uh, autonomous emergency braking uh, collision prevention iso technology zote za safety ziko kwa hii gari and you also get blind spot monitoring so that triggers all the all the cameras even zinaziko huko kwa side the other interesting thing is uh, you can link up to Pujo connect apps which is Okay I don't know why I would use this but sometimes in developed country, countries they are, they are very important uh, the dash iko na some cheap plastic as well as some leather it's not very sophisticated it's simple kawaida french then you get to have a speaker hapa katikati kama gari gani kama volvo yeah so there is that copy of volvo uh, then this 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 the, the front is designed kama cockpit so unaona passenger 1 hajaweka seat belt passenger 2 all, all you get displays over here and makes you feel like a pilot so the car does not also look good but it makes you feel like you're driving high <laughs> don't drink and drive so the other thing i have to really comment about this car is that niliwambia uh, for pujos mostly if you're opening up the bonnet you have to open it up from this side so you don't open it up open it up from that side and uh, the seats well high quality leather coming in a standard on this car the c pillar no the b pillar does look a little bit odd but it does not compromise any views you remember that review we did on the rumion that had a really big blind spot this one has a very small blind spot the a pillars are well designed for you to have that panoramic view of the road without having too many blind spots so it's 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 it it, it doesn't it, okay the setback on this car is it does not bring so much luxury but but the price on it the price tag on it does really allow for what it has to offer because these are things you cannot get in a premium these are things you cannot get in a toyota crown sawa so we'll get memory seats so that if you happen to be lending this car to your wife na unajua kenyan women wanapenda kuenda share gari kiti ikiwa hapa so yeye unaweza kuwa na setting yake kiti ikiwa pale na yako ya kuchill sawa uh, if you're a lady and you for some reason you share this car with your husband kiti yako inaweza kuwa pale na yake inaweza kuwa hapa so you can always use memory 1 or memory 2 that's courtesy of memory seats then for some reason if you want to warm your butt or if you want to serve your butt chilled you can warm your butt but in Kenya now you know kuwa na heated seats Kenya surely how many times will you need to warm up your area sasa tuangalie hizi viti za nyuma and see the legroom and comfort and what other extras do we have huko nyuma on the rear row of seats viti za nyuma the thanks to the long wheelbase you get very 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 comfortable legroom and very comfortable seats plus at least you, you have the convenience of cup holders up a nyuma so it's a really remember this is an executive sedan so you have to have some of these aspects of luxury in the pujo yes if you didn't have this one nah couldn't be semi luxury or luxury or executive then you also get to have the privilege of having ac hardy nyuma one thing with this car is that uh, you you can easily have ulem sewa lift the third person on the rear row of seats because unlike the mercedes benz unlike the bmw's 3 series 5 series unlike the toyota crown or the mark x it doesn't have the tunnel here e transmission tunnel no this one is very flat because it's a front wheel drive and i'll talk about that when i'm driving this car so hapa msewa lift mwenye anakuanga na charger ni venye tu ako na power output hapa so anaweza kuja na power bank yake ama anaweza kuja na simu yake but it's ideal for two people right but you can easily slot in the third person up the lights mm -mm, you don't get the one up kando you get these these lights on the side because you know again ambience matters the french are very particular with ambience especially on the romantic date so this is a car you can get a driver unaweza chukua unaweza chukua ule naweza naweza nikipata kama mtu mahali naweza itaibra kuwa shufa then alafu ibra is the director pale mbele alafu me and my there's a car panyuma tumwambie ibra washa mood lighting 
uh, wacha nianze kupiga mistari hapa you know so it's, it it brings out that element it it has room for connection for interpersonal connection yeah sawa so i think that's that's it with this car uh, basically for two for two million these 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 good luxury co- considering beza magari zimepanda sana and uh, the other thing before i leave since it's an executive sedan you also get to get cuttings usionekane sana usiende kama unakaa nyama kwa butchery nyuma ya vio you know you get to unapandisha curtain so that you unajua pesa ipendi kelele na ipendi macho mingi and also the glare from the sun so you get to have these curtains just like in the benzes just like in the beamers but for the bmws i don't i don't you'd get these in a 3 series you, these these five series manenos eh? so, so, so to million this value for money let me drive this car let's see how it feels how she feels on the road before i drive this car there is uh, you know sometimes you drive and feel tired and i want to show you a very interesting feature and that is the massage seat feature so if you press this button over here ah uh, manzeu nasikia ka uko kwa kinyozi aso ame bakisha tu kale ka kitu ka kufanya nywele hivyo nimesikia fiti it has a massage seat um, massage seat feature which is no oh, it's uh, at least you get it on the driver's seat only and uh, with that after having my massage uh, i want to drive this car get to the road but let me tell you one a thing or two about this pujo is first of all it's 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 a driver centric car if you look at the steering wheel it's not a round steer, steering wheel it has a a ca, ca, ca aspect of being hexagonal right then uh, the paddle shifts very well placed mali kidole inazafikia bila struggle then driver assist features you get blind spot monitoring so the vehicle can uh, monitor the blind spots for you you don't have to really struggle but now let's get to the interesting part that is driving this car There is however one thing that I really I really wish I got from this car. I wish this car was rear wheel drive. This car, you know, if it was rear wheel drive it would be more fun to drive, but that doesn't mean that it is not fun to drive. Uh the auto transmission you feel it just shifting through the gears. This car simply wants to go. You know that turbocharged 1.6 liter wants it's 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 very rev happy. Come up the you know most pujo engines it just wants to give that punch of power then the steering feedback manze it's awesome the steering feedback on this car is awesome i have to do this i know we might not be allowed to do this but i need to see how how fast this car gets to 100 start woohoo 60 70 80 90 uh 100 good 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 girl man that was a clean almost 6 seconds right mm. the other thing you have to note about driving this car is that you know the gearbox behaves the same way that you would get in a VW in a you, you might mistake it for the gearbox being faulty uh sababu But that's that's generally an automatic uh, fit okay it mostly features in most automatic gearboxes that jack that jacking then because we are able to do we want to do our 0 to 100 uh, see how long it takes how can i manage to tell my speed without looking at the cluster this car has a heads up display so i can be able to look at the speed without taking my eyes off the road yeah it's fancy feature that thing i have to tell you about this car when you this car since it's front wheel drive there is that over no understeer you get to experience a lot of understeer stability igari ni stable sana the suspension is no is a bit firm for a, for an executive sedan but surprisingly it's very good for cornering that is one thing that i need to I need I need to let you know it is very 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 good for cornering. Basically what I told you there is so much understeer in this car the suspension is a bit firm but the firmness is very good for cornering. So in a nutshell driving experience this car I will give it um, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. But I really hope this car was rear wheel drive but Pujos they are not very they 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 real, they don't do rear wheel drive these days they only do 
front wheel drive. Also, did I tell you that you can get this car in hybrid? Yes, it comes with a variant called the FHEV, full hybrid electric vehicle. Yeah, so, and uh, tell us in the comments, what do you think about the Peugeot 508? I think it's a brilliant car. It's a car that you love to drive. It's, it's a car that has the looks and it's a car that will give you value for money. So uh, I think I'll sign out from here, then get to enjoy the car. Please give us that subscription. Na PM to Fuate. Follow me, your Canvasologist, Eric with a CK on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, do follow Conversations on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. By the time now, na video, to support to share the East African. Safari Classic Rally. Over and out, guys.